Is a single semicolon a valid statement in C sharp? Let's find out. This is what I call a Seymour question. Now in a panel interview, Seymour is the programmer who's been with the company five to 12 years. He's not a team lead because he doesn't want to be, and he probably wrote the application that you're being hired to extend or maintain. So his motivation while interviewing you is going to be making sure that you're not going to cause him any trouble. He's going to ask a lot of gotcha questions because he always wants to see more of your abilities. Is a single semicolon a valid statement in C sharp? Let's find out. So I created a simple program here. So let's compile it and see what the file looks like. As you can see, here's semicolon embraces. Here's the time it was created. Now, let's add a semicolon and see what happens. Now, this is perfectly valid. Visual Studio isn't yelling at me for having this here. So let me compile it. Done. And let's take a look at the file. 133, you see that? 171520. Files the same size. Let's take a look at a file hash. There's a file hash. Now let's remove this semicolon. We're gonna save this and we're gonna recompile. All right, we're succeeded. So let's take a look at this hash again without the semicolon. Huh, sure looks like the same file to me. To the compiler, a semicolon just means end of statement. They don't even show up in the output file. So you can totally have an empty end of statement. You know what else can do this? Braces. Now braces just indicate the scope. So it's perfectly possible for me to create a set of braces with absolutely nothing in them. And here's something else that's neat. I can even put breakpoints on these things. And I can compile it, and it totally works. So here's where this gets dangerous. So let's say I have a simple while loop here, just increment zero, and I do something important, I print stuff out. And I wanna see what happens after the while loop. So I put a semicolon down here, I put a breakpoint on it, and I run it. Great, this breaks exactly where I want it to break. So I'm gonna live dangerously and do this all the time. I could accidentally put myself into a situation where I do something like this. Now, why is this bad? Well, it's bad because if I put a semicolon here, watch what happens when I try to inspect this while loop. See, something weird going on here? This code down here is never gonna get hit because of this semicolon. Not so cool now, huh? And that's how you lose four hours of your day because you didn't practice good programming hygiene. So if Seymour asks this question in an interview, absolutely, semicolons and braces with nothing in them are totally valid. They'll compile, they'll run, but it isn't good programming practice. Good luck on your next interview.